Hi everyone, this is T.I. and welcome back to my channel. It's another episode of Matters Arising with T.I. It's episode 4 and today's topic is Be True to Yourself. Be True to Yourself. So today I'm saying be true to yourself. Why am I saying this? Most of the time, a lot of us, we tend to lie to ourselves and we tend to do this on so many occasions and regarding a lot of things. Um, there's this saying that no two people can miss out on a lie at the same time. So if the person that is being lied to does not know that this is a lie, then the person that is telling the lie will definitely know that this is a lie. Um, a couple of weeks ago, something came up, you know, I've seen it or I've come across this situation, you know, a few times and it's come up in a line of discussion and I just thought, yes, I should raise this issue and it's regarding clothes sizes, what people wear, people wanting to lose weight, people going on a diet, you know, and somehow as women, we tend to lie to ourselves about a lot of things. Some women will not want to tell you how old they are. Some people will not want to tell you their dress sizes. Some people don't want to, you to know what they weigh. They believe that it's personal. Yes, while I believe that this is true, you don't lie to yourself. Even if you don't want to tell the other person what your dress size is or what you weigh, or how old you are, you cannot lie to yourself. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous if there's someone that is a size 18 and you tell people that you're a size 14 and you struggle or you, someone buys a size 14 for you and you, you squeeze yourself into a size 14 dress. I mean, who are you fooling? You're fooling yourself. You know, the other day, there was a brother that was saying to me, he said he went for a wedding and everywhere he turned, he looked to his left, he looked to his right and all he could see was cleavage and bum. Wow. And I thought to myself, <laughs> what's going on? Because that was exactly how he felt. And he was almost, you know, going to cover his face everywhere that he went. And I just thought to myself, why would someone want to go out and expose the cleavage and you want what you're wearing to show your contour, you know, bum and all that. You know, my sister has this saying, she's always saying, you know, all these dresses that show your bum, show every curve and everything, she calls it body cocoon. And they lot of people, you know, they like to wear these clothes and they don't wear it in their sizes. And it looks ridiculous you know like I always say to her if they don't want me to wear it they shouldn't have it in my size while I agree with that please wear your size because if you do wear your size then it would at least look a bit all right on you but when you're a size 18 or you're a size 20 and you put on a size 14 please sister it doesn't look nice if you are not complaining I tell you, that dress, or that top, or that trouser is definitely complaining. You should wear your size. Be true to yourself. It is very good to want to wear a size 14 or to want to wear a size 12. I would definitely love to be a size 10. But it takes a lot of hard work. You need to watch what goes into your mouth. Don't be on a seafood diet. If you know what I mean, that is S-E-E -E diet, not a S-E-A diet. You should watch what you eat. Not everything that is good for the highs is good for the tummy and is definitely not good for the weight. So I'm encouraging you today. If you do like a size 14 and you are a size 20 or size 18, there are some shops that you can go to and they will have a dress in size 14 for you. Those are the plus sizes. And it would look good on you because they have already designed it in such a way that it would come out really nicely on you. 
And there's this lady, you know, that I, I seen on TV, a TV presenter, that said she cuts out the label on her dresses. So if you don't want anyone to know, just cut out the label. If, they, if your friend tends to want to see what size you're wearing, cut it out. At least you don't have to, you don't owe anybody any explanation. But you owe the way, you, you owe yourself the way you look. When you go out, you want to look good, you want to look modest. You want to be a role model to the people that see you. Especially if you're an adult, you know, woman. You don't want everything showing your breasts, your bum. You know, it doesn't dignify you. It doesn't even dignify where you've come from. You want to give yourself that kind of honor. You want to give yourself that kind of grace. When you look, when you, when you come out and you're dressed in a modest way, you look regal, you look good, and people will compliment you. If you don't know how to wear your clothes, if you don't know how to do it in such a way that you will look responsible, responsible and respectable, they, you know, ask people that know. The Bible says that wisdom is principle. There are some things that if you don't know, ask people, get wisdom, get knowledge, get understanding. You can't, you can't have monopoly of everything. So if you don't know how to combine your clothes, what to wear and how to wear them, ask the people. I'm sure there are people around you that dress really nicely that you can ask. So be true to yourself. Don't lie to yourself and say, that is how I like to wear it. No, it's not. I can tell you that is not how you like to wear it. It's just because you don't know or you feel that that is the best way for you to turn out. But it isn't. So sister, be true to yourself. Because the brothers there are complaining. Because I know that that brother that went to that wedding the other day, he wasn't well pleased. He wasn't pleased at all. Because he just felt bamboozed. Everywhere he turned, it was just something else. You know, and I want to encourage you, shop right. Don't buy the right sizes. Don't buy wrong sizes. Don't lie to yourself and say you're a size 12. There are gyms out there and you don't even have to pay a lot. If you don't want to go to a gym, wake up in the morning, go jogging. Or wake up in the morning, do some sit-ups, do some press-ups, do some, you know, do some exercise. You don't have to pay a ham and a leg for you to get really fit, you know. So if you really want to be a small size, if you really want to be a size 10 or you want to be a size 12, you want to be a size 14 and unfortunately right now you are a size 20. No one will persecute you. No one will kill you. I've seen size 20, 22 people dress nicely and I admire them out there. You know, because there are shops out there. I don't want to do any, you know, advertising for anyone. But there are a lot of shops plus sizes out there that you can go out there and you get a nice trouser suit, a nice, nice pants, nice top, nice dress, you know, that would really fit your size. So if you are a plus size and you're good in the way you look, go out there and buy the right clothes. And stop shopping in those, um, you know, shops that are for size six size you know sometimes i go there i see size four and i'm thinking would this really fit someone would someone actually fit into this dress but of course yes they made it for some people and they are like that but it's not all of us that are you know blessed like that but if you do want to lose weight there are ways to go about it there are things that you can do and you will lose weight it's not rocket science it's not impossible if you set your heart to doing it so please be true to yourself and let's stop all this, you know, dressing in such ways that it's not pleasing to the high. It's not pleasing to the people around you. And be true to yourself and stop saying that you love it like that. Because I can bet you, you don't. And if you are out there, you're struggling, you know, like I could have that scripture that says wisdom is principle. If you don't know the Lord, you don't have wisdom. That's the truth. Because the wisdom that you think you have is, is of self. But godly wisdom is what I'm talking about. Because it takes godly wisdom for you to know what you are meant to do and how you are meant to do it. And for you to humble yourself and actually do it. But if you don't know God, if you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, then you, you can't even access that wisdom. So it takes you humbling yourself and say, coming to the Lord and saying, Yes, Lord, I want that wisdom. For you to be able to receive it because there are so many people out there they feel they know it all so you need to humble yourself and come to the lord and say lord i'm ready 
to accept you so that I can walk in that wisdom that you have made available to me. So if you're ready to do that today, I want you to say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I acknowledge the fact that I'm a sinner. I acknowledge the fact that you came to die for me. And on the third day, the Father raised you up from the dead. I invite you into my heart today to be my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and set me free. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you have said this prayer, that is your first step into walking in liberty and walking in wisdom because the Holy Spirit has already come into your heart and it will guide you and lead you to live a godly life. A life that everywhere that you go, you will shine the light of God and you bring glory to Him. So please, be true to yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Do like, share and comment down below and do subscribe for more updates. Till I come again next time, this is T.I. Remain blessed. Shalom. He's a mighty, mighty God. He's a mighty